how 1000 underperforming rural engineering colleges in India are set for a revamp. Imagine this, engineering students in rural India graduating with not just a degree, but industry ready skills, real world project experience and the confidence to innovate. This vision is now turning into a reality. The All India Council for Technical Education or AICTE has launched an ambitious project to revamp 1000 underperforming engineering colleges in rural India with Tamil Nadu and Kerala leading the way in the first phase. Over 5 lakh students and more than 10,000 faculty members will directly be benefited through this project. But this isn't about just numbers. This is about reshaping how engineering is taught and learned in India's heartland. For decades, many rural colleges have relied on outdated curricula, struggled with poor industrial linkages, and as a result, there has been a widening employability gap, especially in emerging fields like AI, cloud computing, and data science. Too many graduates live with theory knowledge, but little hands-on experience. Internships are rare, and so are industry connections. That's where project practice comes in. Practice here stands for the Project for Advancing Critical Thinking, Industry Connect and Employability. Spearheaded by AICTE and its partners, including CRISP, which is a think tank, IIT Madras Leap Initiative, and a US-based Maker Bhavan Foundation. The project will cost Rs 23 crore, which will be funded equally by the council and its practice partners. The goal of the project is to double the employability rate of these institutions by 2028. In the first phase, over 5,000 colleges have already been shortlisted from across the country. Tamil Nadu tops the list with 128 colleges, followed by Kerala with 60. These are the institutions eager for change and ready for transformation. Let us tell our viewers why the project was envisioned. According to a document prepared by the practice partners, at least 85% of engineering institutions, primarily located in rural areas, are struggling with outdated curriculum and weak industry linkages. In their analysis, the AICT practice partners found a major employability gap. As per recent studies, only about half of the India's youth are deemed employable, with significant deficit in emerging fields like AI, data science and cloud computing. Many graduates lack essential practical and professional skills due to traditional rote learning methods and limited practical exposure. Therefore, the project was envisioned to address these gaps with an aim to make engineering education more productive and practice oriented. Now, how the project will actually work? Let us break it down. At its core, this project is all about hands-on learning for both teachers and students. The focus is on improving how engineering is taught in rural colleges, and that starts with empowering the people at the front of the classroom. First, over 10,000 faculty members from 1,000 rural colleges will be trained in modern interdisciplinary practice-based teaching methods. They will go through immersive five-day training sessions guided by 50 top-performing engineering institutions from across the country. These top-performing colleges will act as mentors, helping the rest to adopt better teaching techniques, innovation practices, and real-world relevance. Think of it as a hub-and-spoke model. The stronger colleges provide the direction and resources, while the other benefit from structural mentorship and collaboration. That's not all. Faculty will also have the chance to attend a 10-day residential program at IIT Jammu, where they will deep dive into design thinking, prototyping, IP filing, and innovation mentoring. The goal is to help educators bring creativity and industry alignment straight into their classroom, so that students stop just memorizing and start building. What about the students? They are also getting a major upgrade here under the practice project. Every participate college will host four-day intensive boot camps for 200 students, where learners tackle real-world engineering problems in small focus batches. Following this, eight-week project-based programs will also be introduced, giving 40 students per colleges the chance to build solutions, work in teams, and sharpen both their technical and communication skills. For students who want to go even further, another eight-week program will also allow 20 selected participants from each college to take on more complex, industry-specific challenges. These advanced learners will work on deep, tech-driven projects that could directly align with future job opportunities. And yes, internships are changing too under the project practice. Instead of short surface-level internship, 
the project will roll out comprehensive six-month internship program stretching across entire system plus summer. This extended duration is designed to give students the kind of real-world hands-on experience they often miss now. For companies, this also means a better chance to evaluate student potential before hiring them, making the transition from campus to corporate smoother for everyone involved. The project is officially kicking off this month and it is set to completely shift how technical education is delivered in India's most undeserved regions. That's all from me for now. Keep watching the print for more news updates.